Hey guys, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Ken Dominic Food Review, just for you and just for you. As you can see, I have Dame Drops in my car. Say hi, Dame. What's going on, people? For those that do not know, my name is Dame Drops, YouTube Food Titan. You know how we get down with those super official food reviews, baby. Oh. We came up to Webster, Texas from Galveston at the Game Con because so many people were telling us if you're in Texas, you got to go to Steak and Shake. And so on Dame's channel, we just finished doing the two burgers. Yes. We, you did like a bacon burger thing and we won't tell you anything about that. <laughs> and, and I did a Jamer Jama Jamaican. Jamaican. Jamaican burger and you'll have to go over to his channel to check that out. But on our channel, on my channel, we did two types of dogs. I think you did the Chicago, Chicago dog. Chicago style dog. The Chicago style style dog I did the um, the chili cheese dog because I haven't had a chili cheese dog in a while so I thought I'd give it a shot mm -hmm. and she asked me if I wanted onions on it or not and I said sure yeah, why, not? why not make it happen and then we also ordered two shakes and they've got a lot of shakes at steak and shake just like you would imagine they would have uh, and Dame found on there really quickly the chocolate chip cookie dough shake let's just uh, just, just try that first. I'm thinking it's, it's not gonna get stuck in the straw. I can imagine. But, I would think so, but yeah. you know what? If it gets stuck in the straw, that means it's a good shake. No, I meant the cookie dough. Oh, that, that, that's that's, that's gonna, gonna, that's gonna be like bung shot. things up. All right, let's try it. Mmm. Right. If I can recall, that's exactly how you like your milkshakes. <laughs> Super thick. Yeah. Yes. And we've been sitting in the car for about. 15 minutes shooting his video and we forgot to do the shakes on his video or on hit for his channel but that's pretty good i'm gonna definitely say that um the the cookie dough is it's still chips cookie dough chips for the most part i haven't received any like thick bite of the cookie dough and i've been sitting here sipping on this for a little bit now so i'm again oh, like it's in the straw yeah but th th those are the little pieces that i've been getting mixed in with the creaminess of this milkshake maybe their blender like really blends it up so that there's no actual cookie dough mm -hmm. chunks in there anymore which is i don't think you want chunks of cookie dough in there unless you get a spoon and then dig them out right mm. now this isn't break your cheeks type <laughs> thick the type where you know you're gonna go hit the straw and your whole face gets sucked in like you're about to implode but you're still gonna get a nice little thickness it isn't like straight milk well how would you rate that while, while we're here Honestly, steak and shake for your chocolate chip cookie dough, and I've had plenty of chocolate chip cookie doughs on, on the milkshake game. I'm gonna give them a two and a half, man. Really, eh? Yeah. I've never had a chocolate chip cookie dough milkshake before, and I would give it a recommend. If you were here, give it a shot. Come up with your own uh, opinion on it. That's Dame's opinion. That's mm -hmm. mine. So work with that, and uh, let us know in the comments below if you've had it. And let us yeah. know what you thought of it. Now, I went to Super Dogs in Chicago and had a Super Dog hot dog. Oh, boy. Sense. I mean, it's hard to, to duplicate how Super Dog hot dog looks. It's very difficult. Is that close? As far as the sweet relish, I mean, being that bright green, yeah, and there's a little pepper. That is a bright green relish. That's a Holy. bright, bro. And let's go for a close up. Go for a close up. Explain, Dame. Now, what I have is the Chicago style hot dog from Steak and Shake, but of course they're trying to pretty much, you know, get as close as possible to how Chicago gets down. So we have the, the peppers here, we have the sweet relish here. Look at that, how green that relish game is. That's something that serious. That's crazy. And I'm going to bust this thing wide open so you can see the onion on the side. And, but I ain't going to lie, man. Look, look how wrinkled my hot dog is. Like, oh, when you, when you, when you right. do the hot dog game the right way... It's not yeah. supposed to wrinkle. Nah, bro. So does that mean it's been sitting around, maybe? It, it means that this hot dog is mad wacky taffy. <laughs> uh, a little bit of mustard. They didn't kill the condiment with, with the mustard, but I can't lie. That, that hot, that's an ugly hot dog, Ken. I, I have never seen relish that... It's almost like they put dye in it. <laughs> yeah, that to make get... me feel even worse about oh, my dye. You know what? It actually looks like that, what's like that uh, candy, um, fruit candy. It's like fruit, but it's candy, and it tastes like crap, like it's bitter. Oh, bitter. So... You know that stuff? I don't know what it's called. <laughs> oh, it looks like candy. Oh, God. Oh. The candy that I don't like eating. Well, we have a lot of negatives already. <laughs> oh, no. We didn't say nothing positive about this hot dog. Oh. We've just been beating it in the head. Let's just take a peek at mine now. All right. There's a close-up of mine, and you can see the beans. You can see that 
wrinkly dog that Dane was explaining, <laughs> slit in half. Lots of onions, but I can't see these. I don't see chili chili. No. It's uh, I see some remnants on this side, like on the on the actual cardboard. But uh, it looks like a lot of onions with some cheese and some beans. And beans, bro. Is that their version of chili out here? I'm gonna have to bite into it and find out. All right, Dame. Let's just go in for a bite at the same time. I know it doesn't. It doesn't seem like you want to bite it. I can't, I can't. I'm sorry, bro. Mine stuck. That to the intro board. game. That was a hard sell. That was a hard for those of the uncut and raw. You get to see the very best of these videos because you get to hear everything that we end up cutting out. And that was a hard sell, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. All right. Mine's. Uh, I'm gonna definitely need a shower after this. Hold on, Ken. Wait, Ken. Hold on, Ken. Yeah, I, I thought you were playing when you were talking about food coloring. Is that food color leaking off into my cardboard, bro? Is yeah, the not? cardboard is actually turning green. Oh boy. If I get sick, stick and shake. Okay, here we go. <laughs> the pickle bailed. <laughs> I want you to get away from the relish. I'm tasting the uh, the chili now. Roadkill? Roadkill. Roadkill. All I taste is the pepper, bro. It's the what? Pepper? The pepper. Oh, the pepper. These are peppers right here. Oh, you know what? I thought they're, um, is, is, it, is it really crazy hot? It's real spicy. Wow. And is that what you normally put on a, on a Chicago style dog? Yeah, it's always a, a hot pepper. It, it's always the pickle, the relish, the mustard. You never use ketchup and and right. a hot dog. Right. And the cat and, the, and the, the hot dog itself is actually plump. I this thought, is actually wimpy. I thought they were all pickles, that's why. Which one is yours? Yours is front. Okay. Mine's back. I gotta hit this one time because I, I will admit the only thing about this is that pepper. The only thing. On mine, again, it has a lot of beans. I do now taste the flavor of the um, chili itself. I'm gonna take another bite just to make sure. Have you been covered yet? Slowly. I'm gonna try to get another bite. I'm, 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 I'm gonna try to find something good about this one. I, I want to. The bun is nice and soft. That's a good sign. It's not mm. crusty. Mm. You're out? I'm out. Whoa! Right into the box. Two points for Ken. I'm gonna get right to it, man. Break it down. Oh, Steak and shake. On my channel, we did the burger. You already know how I felt about your bacon on my channel, and I won't even go there. Your hot dog, your Chicago-style hot dog. The pepper is the first thing that jumps out if you happen to take a bite out of the Steak and Shake Chicago-style hot dog. The sweet relish, is a whole bunch of pieces in there, so they do what they're supposed to do. I'm not excited about them. I barely taste the onion whatsoever. That hot dog is both tired and raggedy. That hot dog is simplified to the lowest form of hot dog that is in these streets right now. I would have preferred a hot dog from a dollar store, Ken. Wow. Over the hot dog I got I served up right here. Like, the, the dollar store hot dog, 7-Eleven? I would have took a 7-Eleven dog. Mm. I would have taken a 7-Eleven dog. This was the worst raggedy hot dog I've ever had. Wow. It's like, it's like a bun with pickles, relish, and pepper. And a little snap of something. I mean, you could put a stick in there and I would have had the same flavor. A dog stick. A dog stick. <laughs> An actual stick from a tree. Just put the stick in there and I would have got the same thing. You could have called it a hot dog. I'm not impressed. I don't know if it's that. That, that had to be beef dog. It had to be a little small punk beef dog. I don't think pork would have went down as raggedy as that did. Uh, steak and shake, not for nothing. I'm, I'm going to give your hot dog a, just negative everything. Wow. Negative life. This negative is my first life. negative life rating. Jeez. I, I, I didn't, it's not even on my channel. I, I just gave my very first negative life rating, and it happened here on KBD Productions TV. Wow. Yeah. Uh, this dog itself, and it came to, I forgot to do the price for you guys. So uh, both dogs, either one is $3.29, and 
and the sh the shakes are three dollars and sixty nine cents. Uh, but we have all the burgers and all this stuff on there, so I can't figure out all the costs. So let us know in the comments below if you think three dollars and twenty nine cents. Obviously, Dane wouldn't pay three dollars. Uh, he wouldn't want that for free. It sounds like. Um, <laughs> here, Dane. Would you like another one? No. 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 Can I give you ten dollars? No. 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 Uh, guys, on my rating scale. This is going to be, uh, I, I would say it's a recommend only because the the dog was okay, the bun was fresh, the chili was okay, uh, but the cheese mixed with the chili, it was like a very cheesy chili mixture with the onions and the beans, and it was it was not bad. I, I, I ask you guys to try it and let me know what you think in the comments below. I think it's okay. I'm not sure what Dame's gonna do with that. Don't hit the car beside you. I, I didn't want to. I didn't want to be that disrespectful. You know what? Oh, but boy. it might have just been this particular hot dog. Maybe they have a different type of hot dog in there that's actually decent. So I don't want to beat them all the way upside the head, but I will say a Chicago style hot dog. Leave a Chicago dog to Chicago. Don't go messing around claiming a specific area of, of, of food and you can't get it right. Don't do that. All right, guys. I'd like to thank Dame for coming out with me today to Webster, Texas, all the way from Galveston, Texas. We drove up to Steak and Shake. Dame, give them one more time your channel name and what would you like them to do on your channel? Hey, listen, your main man Dame drops. I do food reviews just like my main man Ken Domic over here. Slide over to my channel. It is www.youtube.com forward slash Dame Drops. You can put Dame Drops in your search. Be sure to subscribe. Subscribe to Ding 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 is everything. <laughs> click on my face. You can click on those raggedy hot dogs wherever Ken puts the annotation. Make sure you slide over and subscribe there. And if you're watching the videos that Ken puts off for you guys, Every single week and you are not subscribed what are you waiting for christmas is every single day with this man he's giving you gifts be sure to subscribe all right guys if you like this video give it a thumbs up ding 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 ding, ding and we'll see you next time another ken and dame food review ken and dame out Boom. we're still rolling okay hey guys it's ken and um <laughs> boop, boop. <laughs> Here in Webster, Texas, uh, visit. Do, uh, bleh, 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 bleh. Boom! 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 Hey. <laughs> All right, guys. I like to thank Dame Drops for sticking well. Stick you well. Bow. Bow. You were thinking of the stick of the hot dog. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. <laughs> Dame Drops are sticking. Oh, why am I say sticking? Why? <laughs> the hot dog stick flavor. I told you it was about. It, it stuck when I said <laughs> I would have took a stick instead of the hot dog. Okay, I'm gonna go one one take. Ready? In my car and. <laughs> oh man, if it can't happen, it will happen. Shout out to Texas, Webster, Texas.